in this section we will look into the first uh, branching strategy which you can apply in your team and this is uh, very the simplest of the strategy called developer specific branching now with the bare minimum strategy applied with the main QA and the develop branch already available in the developer specific scenario what you would do is you would create the branches for each of your developers which as a dedicated branch for them so if you have three developers you'll create three branches from the develop branch say developer one developer two and three which is then cloned by the individual developers to make their code changes the bug fix features and commit the code into their respective branches and once the developer uh, changes are reviewed and tested he or she can go ahead and raise a pull request from developer one to the developer branch so this is a scenario where you have a handful of developers and you know exactly the changes that you're going to do and you have a clear-cut uh, segregation of the work and the code changes that you're planning to do and <coughs> so and also uh, understanding of the feature set which is independent and separate is what you would go with the developer branches so uh, this is typically easy to manage and uh, useful or efficient effective when you have a small team of few few handful developers with not much complexity in the release or the deployment we will now look at look into the the practical ap application of this branch uh, using the get command line and see how uh, typically two developers could work in a developer specific branching so going back to my uh, git going back to the repository uh, with the previous may bare minimum branching created i have the main develop and qa so well, to begin with i would ensure uh, in this implement in this branching strategy i will go ahead and disable direct commits to the develop branch as well so if i go to develop i'll say required minimum is one allow yes so now going back to the repository the from the develop branch i uh, let's say i'll create two new branches called developer one which is based out of develop and i create one more called developer So from here again i'll so go to develop create so now let me go back to the branching the git branching demo the empty folder and to simulate the scenario of two developers working what i'll do i'll create i'll clone the repositories into two different folders one for developer one and one for developer two so git clone and uh, let me go to the post copy so i'll say git clone here so let me rename i'll do rename git branching demo to git branching demo underscore developer one cd git developer one if i say git status It would give me origin slash main, so I will check out git checkout developer one. So now in my git branching demo developer one folder, I have a source code which is pointing to origin slash developer one. Now let me go back and clone once more the newer version, another copy of the code. So I'll now rename uh, git branching to underscore developer two now i'll say git set the setting again git 
explore git checkout uh, developer to git status just just checking the status it is pointing. now if i go back so now what i have the setup here is i have two folders git branching demo developer one and developer two so this is you it's to simulate a scenario where you have two developers they are both are working in their own branch developer one and developer two so now imagine the scenario where the developer one has changed code has modified the code uh, to rec to implement their code example local changes from developer one so these are developer one change and similarly i'll go here and update the local change from developer two so now i have this i have one file one branch which is modified by developer one other brand developer modify another branch developer developer two so now the developer one i can go into git and git add git uh, commit developer one changes so i have effectively committed as a developer one and i'm going to push the changes similarly i'll go here cd git developer 2 git add git commit so now two developers have done the local changes they pushed and they, the features that they are working on are tested and validated in developer 1 and developer 2 So from here on, now uh, let's say the developer one wants has validated the code changes and needs to merge it to the develop branch. So the developer one and two will create a new pull request uh, to merge the code into the develop branch. So this is one pull request, and similarly, let's create and then developer two and then into develop. So the practice here is to ensure the code is merged from developer one, developer two branches into the develop branch uh, always. So now I have two, two uh, pull requests, one from developer one and developer two. Uh, I can go ahead and approve and complete. Yes, complete the merge. And similarly, I can go here to developer two approve and complete now one scenarios that may come in here is when you have conflicts how do you manage conflicts and details like that so now if you see here there is a merge conflict which says because of which the files cannot be merged so what has happened here the developer one has merged the code and then the developer two is trying to push his new code, which is wherein he doesn't have the latest code. So in order to merge the changes, uh, what uh, what I have what I have what we'll have to do is open up the folder where you have uh, the latest code changes. Example, I'll say file open folder, and I've selected the developer two and select now. Uh, I am in the developer 2 branch, whereas in the developer 1, uh, if I try to merge, uh, it says you will have the latest code change. It doesn't have the latest code changes. So you have to merge the code changes <coughs> from developer 1 to developer 2. First thing I have to do is git fetch. And then, so what it, what it does, it takes the latest code changes from developer 1 and develop branch, everything. Now I can, I, before I do any uh, other changes, I'll have to first merge the code from my develop branch into uh, developer two. So if I, I can do this merge into current branch, are you sure you want to merge the develop into, I say yes. 
and now it shows me the same merge conflict which I can see in my pull request. So I can click here, do a merge. Uh, here it basically it says do you want to keep your local changes and this. So now I'm going to say that yes, I want to keep both my changes uh, uh, as part of my merge. So I'll do a, there is some more complex scenarios here, but we will cover that in a later part. But here I basically merge both the files and I'll say accept merge. And now I go ahead and do a commit again, git add, git commit, post merge and then git push. So now if I go back to the pull request, the merge conflicts are now removed. It says no more merge conflict, which I can approve and complete. With this done, now if I go back to the branches and select develop, I could see the code changes that are done by developer one and developer two. But you could notice there's a duplication of the code, the local change which I've done, will get into the comp of merging such complexities in the later part. But in a typical uh, developer specific branching, this is the process you will follow, wherein you will create the developer specific branches, developer one and developer two, you can then uh, raise commit the merge the code from developer one and two branches into develop using pull request post which you could follow the similar standard process of uh, merging the code from develop to qa qa to main 